Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're excited today. It's that time of the month, folks, that you're always looking forward to. You're not looking forward to the other time of the month with your significant other, I'll tell you that, but you're looking forward to this one. And what is it? It's going to be the portfolio recap here for the month of, that's right, March 2024. Hope you're excited. Been a pretty decent month here for us, as you can kind of already see from the uh, screenshot right here you have looking at, uh, looking right your face. Um, yeah, we're going to go over this every position, kind of show you some more performance pieces of it that we don't usually do. If you're new here, I'm excited to have you. I hope you stay. We got a lot of great stuff coming out tomorrow, maybe the next day. We'll see. We're going to have the dividends we earn in the month of March coming out. So I hope you're excited about that. Uh, happy Easter, everybody. Let's celebrate in a, in a great way. Um, you know, it's, it's a blessed day, folks. I'm excited. I hope you are. So, um, here you go. We got a couple accounts here that we usually look at, but the main thing is we'll look at our big individual account here. We're talking about in total 177,000. That's excluding our retirement accounts. We scroll down here. We see there's some other value here in these retirement accounts. Um, We've got our Roth IRA about forty-five grand in there, and just our rollover IRA from our previous four hundred one k. We earned uh, twenty-two there, so you know, add that up, an additional really sixty-seven thousand to add on to the pot here. That's quite a bit. We're talking about two forty-four roughly in terms of total value in the market right now. Pretty nice, two hundred forty-four thousand. Let's not, you know, some of you folks on Robinhood may only have two hundred forty-four dollars, and that's fine. That's okay. You got to start somewhere. I know I sure did. But let's talk about the journey and, and where this portfolio is at right now. So let's start off with a couple things we want to cover before we look at the positions. One thing, you know, we like dividends in this account. Like I mentioned, we got dividends, the video of dividends coming up right after this. We earn about 5800 a year in terms of dividends in this portfolio. So pretty excited for that. Um, we're averaging right around 480 right around uh, 490 a month. Pretty happy to have that as just additional income that I earn, and, and I love to have it. We want to keep boosting that number, too. Every year, I want to see this go up by a couple grand, and we're going to try for that. <laughs> now, as far as performance, where are we at? You know, I'm just going to lay it out on the line right away so you can tell me if, if you think I'm a piece of trash or if I'm not, okay? So if we look all time here, uh, really, this chart's just going since... July uh, 13th of 2022 does give me a cumulative return here. It shows 41.61%. Obviously super excited about that. Um, but then when it gives me an annualized return, which is really important. So really a two year return since I moved this account to Schwab. Um, it's a little bit off to the uh, right hand side. I know <clears throat> just a little bit, but we've got a comparison between our individual, the S and P, the Russell 2000 uh, Dow Jones and the NASDAQ. And hey, here's where we stack up, 22.54% annualized. Pretty freaking sweet if you ask me. How does that compare, though? It's got to be said. Really, it's just barely above the S&P at 22.50. Uh, so we're 0.04% annualized. Higher, not bad. The Dow Jones, we're up by you know about 4% over them annualized. So pretty positive there. And actually about 2% or exactly 2% lower than the NASDAQ uh, because... You know, we're not as tech heavy as as the NASDAQ is. So, which, you know, that's all it is. So, hey, that's okay. Um, you know, pretty excited to be where we're at. Um, and obviously, you trouncing the Russell 2000. Small cap has just not been doing well. Not really been the market for it. I think it is coming up, though, I'll tell you that. So, let's kind of get into realized gain loss. What have we done? Uh, if you know, I've been talking about options trading a little bit more lately. Uh, we've been doing a little more options trading to start the year. So far, it's been performing, you know, it's pretty well for us. Maybe do a video recapping some of the options trades as we get more active into it. Um, you know, pretty positive here. You know, 77% gain to loss ratio, which is, you know, if you're winning options trades two or three out of four times, then you're winning you know, you're, you're winning. So what, what more can you say? As long as that's over 50, then you're really having a good time. Um, in my opinion, 
Yeah, not just in my opinion. That's just really a fact. Uh, fact of the matter. Feed it a meter. Uh, nine hundred twenty-four dollars we've gained just from options trading this year. Not terribly large, but again, I don't do a ton of options trading. We're talking about less than one percent of the portfolio in options, so um, that's all right. Let's get into the positions because this one's going to destroy the throat. It always does. We're uh, no, 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 not going to make the joke. I'm not going to make the joke. You, you tried to catch me slipping. I ain't slipping, Jimmy, and I ain't going to be slipping today, folks. You're not catching me like that. So, hey, uh, speaking of options, we actually start. We're doing this alphabetical like we always do. So the main account itself, 169000 one of the best numbers out there, you know, um, you could even replace the six and the one swap positions here. We get Buyaka Buyaka six one nine. If it did happen that way, I'd be pretty happy. You know, I'd love to have six hundred thousand in the market, uh, but that comes in the future. And if you stay along for the journey, you'll see it, folks. Uh, overall, again, you can kind of see this gain loss here at forty six thousand. We've gained pretty positive. Love to see it. Uh, not a lot of cash. You know, last time we had a lot more cash. We've been putting that into options, and you can kind of see where our big bet is. It's going to be Apple. Um, you know, it's a stock that's treated me very well, and I feel pretty good about the valuation right now. I think it's at a time in which, um, based off of charting, it's going to bounce back here over the next month. Uh, I'll be keeping my eyes out. But as far as actually the position, I've already got, you know, 50.62 shares. Had them for a long time, as you can see, by the fact that we are up. $5,100 or 142%. We're up pretty big on Apple, and I think we're going to be up even bigger coming up here. So we got a couple options contracts, um, a couple for 426 you know, a month from now. We got a 185 and a 190, a long ways to go for that. I don't think they're necessarily going to reach that price, but I do think these are going to raise in terms of value. I got them at pretty cheap prices. I think the stock's going up here in the next month. Maybe not all the way to 190, but I think the value of these contracts will raise, and I will sell them off within the next couple weeks. <clears throat> a couple longer term, 517, 180. I 100% think this will be valuable and in the money. We are up slightly on it, and then we also bought a 185, 719. Um, so July 19th, 2024, three months out. You know, it's wasn't as expensive as I might have expected here for this one. Um, but we're up, you know, only paid about 400 bucks for it. We're up 23 already. I think the stock's got a lot of room to go. So, you know, it, it's, this is going to be a pretty valuable contract in my opinion, as I hold it over the next month or two. So I'll be holding on. AbV Incorporated, AbV, we've got uh, 11.6 shares. It's about a $2,000 position, you know, not, not nothing to sneeze at. We're up about 65% or $800. Thirty-seven dollars, pretty nice. Arbor Realty Trust. This one's been kind of a, a you know a roller coaster over the last year in terms of pricing. All REITs really have, but it's fared very you know very well in comparison to the general REIT market. Two thirty-six in terms of shares. Um, we reinvest these divvies, so that's how you'd see this position just growing and growing. I'm not buying a whole lot of shares. It's you know re reinvesting the dividends. So um, shares are coming to me for free, baby. Uh, but anyways. You know, it's about a three thousand dollar position. We're up about two ninety four or ten percent. Not too bad. We'll take it um, with a weak read industry. AMD, very happy, and we've been, you know, actually acquired a couple new shares here recently. Uh, so we've got seventeen now. About a three thousand dollar position. Really a big fan of this. I mean, behind something like, you know, I think Nvidia. Uh, told you it was going to be the best play here this year. You know, my number two here really would probably be AMD, to be all completely honest. I know it's putting your, all your eggs in one basket, but AMDs, <clears throat> they're going to follow suit with NVIDIA in terms of performance, just a little bit lesser, in my opinion. So very happy to have this position. And we're already up big, you know, 110% here in the span of, you know, we haven't had this position more than a year, I feel like. Um, so happy to have this one. I guess we can check here real quick with this. When did we first buy it? Never mind, I lied to you. We've oh, what the heck? This is way back in the day. We bought shares in 2021. What the heck? We only started making it larger recently, I guess. What the heck? Yeah, we started buying shares recently. That's okay. We want to buy more. We want to buy more. I lied apparently. Um, wow. We've been in for a while. Should have bought the dip, uh, you know, a few months back. <laughs> Amazon, 16 shares of Amazon. Uh. 
you know, we're up pretty big here, uh, about 51%. Happy to see it. I think this one's going to continue to go up. I think it was very undervalued for a long time there, really a couple months back even. Should have bought more. Um, didn't buy enough, but up 990 or 51%. So happy for that one long term, long term. Let me tell you, Amazon's not going anywhere. Apple, hospitality reach, another one of these REITs that's been actually faring very well um, when the broad industry has been doing very poorly. 120 shares. In this one for the monthly dividend, uh, but we are up in terms of share price too, about uh, 19% uh, or 322 dollars. Not really in it for that, but hey, I'm, I'm happy to have it nonetheless. Position grows every single month, so we are happy to see it. Happy to see it. Where'd the hiccup come from? Uh, Apollo Commercial Real Estate, another REIT. This one's not been performing as well for sure. This one's seen a lot of the wrath of the broad REIT market um 207 shares here though about a 2003 dollar position we were a big back in the day now we're literally flat uh down at hour 30 so very flat on the position we're talking about flatter than flatter than caitlin clark flatter than the earth it's flat um that's all i could tell you don't tell anybody i just said that don't tell anybody bank of america now, this one has been pretty decent lately. Bought this one on a big dip when this was under $37. Or, sorry, under $30. It was dirt cheap, man. Should have bought some yourself. 50.8485 shares. My apologies. Um, we are up, you know, nothing crazy, about 21%. Um, but, again, that kind of makes sense because we bought it in around $30 a share. 31 it looks like, you know, because we kept buying more. And we're going to enjoy it. Citigroup, 25.2 shares. One of our other financials we have here. Um, been pretty decent to me. 29% up for $363. Not too bad. Nothing to say that much. Carnival, uh, Cruise Lines. Just took an absolute hammer in here. Um, uh, yesterday, I guess this was on Thursday and when that, that occurred. So it took a hammer in, but that's okay. We're still up pretty nicely. 39% uh, or $461. You know we buy or uh, we sell covered calls on this one pretty consistently. Just had some expire, so we're going to be trying to acquire some more of those. Uh, hopefully this increased volatility will help boost those, um, the Vegas on those options. And hopefully we sell them for a little bit more uh, than we could have before. Earn a little bit extra income. Costco. Uh, you know, only three shares here. It's a mega share. One of those that I wish I could have more of, but hey, we're up, I mean, we're up 68% or $904. Things just big. It's just hard to buy more when it's $730, um, per share. So really looking forward to a split here. Um, I, I it genuinely, I do think when this gets to around $800, which it will this year, I'm just telling you right now. Um, I think we're going to see a one for four come in, uh, split. I really do. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. My Costco investors. Hope you're excited. Uh, <coughs> Cisco Systems. Eh, nothing to say about this one. Pretty boring. I mean, it's less than $1,000 on the position. 18.8 shares. Uh, you know, up about 11%. It's just boring. Kind of a more of a rock of the portfolio. It just kind of sits there and doesn't do much. Now, Disney. We finally, baby. Finally, are in the positive on Disney. I've been holding this dog for a long time. We were up big, big. You know, a couple grand here a few years back, and then this thing's just been a dog for the last year. But finally, we're up. Uh, we got 30 shares here, up 3.8%, $135. We're going to be holding this mug. Um, it, it's cheap. It's, it's, it is it's trading cheap, man, I'll tell you that. Um, Domino's Pizza, another one that's a fat share price here, man. We're talking about, you know, not quite Lizzo level like Costco is, but it's a fat share price nonetheless. Um which makes sense. I mean, Domino should be a fat share price. You get pretty fat eating the pie if you eat it all day. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to eat it all day, though. Let's be fair. It's a good pie. Um, just the four shares here anyways. But we are up a solid 34%. Um, $516. Not too bad. Ford Motor Company. 166 shares here. Uh, Ford Motor uh, you know, we're up pretty big, uh, 40%. We got them very cheap, you know, kind of around the $9 range, 945. We got these shares very cheap back in the day when 
COVID hit, <coughs> the shares were dirt cheap. Uh, yeah, we sell covered calls in this one too, as you can see. Man, I'm gonna go outside. It feels great out there, man. What am I doing in here talking about stocks, dude? What's wrong with me? Gotta go mow that lawn or something. Why do I keep right clicking? I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, something about this mouse, man. It's a new mouse. Thankfully, it works unlike the other one, but it just makes me right click a lot. Something about it. Um, Gilead Sciences, 16 shares there. Pretty small position, a little over a thousand bucks. Uh, we're up though, you know, about 14%, $147. Not too bad. For some reason, talking <clears throat> in the morning just gets my nose a flowing. I don't get it. Doesn't make sense. Gladstone Capital pays a fat divvy monthly. Love to have it. 104 shares here. Again, just a little over $1,000. But we're up in terms of share price too, about 14%. Also pays a, a dividend around it, 9%. So pretty nice. Uh, happy to get the most, best of both worlds there. We're talking about a Miley Cyrus song. Uh, maybe that was a Hannah Montana. Hard to say anymore. I don't recall. Um, I don't recall anymore. Do you think there was any quiet on set going on in Hannah Montana's studio? I don't know if there was. Might have just been Nickelodeon. Was that Nickelodeon? I don't even remember anymore. I'm going crazy, brother. Google. I've been happy to acquire new shares of this one recently, too. Been trading dirt cheap for too long. It's still trading at a ridiculously cheap valuation. We've just got the 20 shares, though. But again, that's $3,000 worth. Uh, we're up pretty nicely, 29%, $687. This one over the next five years is just going to skyrocket in terms of share price. I hope you're along for the ride. Home Depot, HD, not high definition, three shares here. Just over 1000 bucks. nothing crazy. But we're up 44% of $365. That's how many days are in the year. And that's how many days you can lig on these balls. Um, HPQ, HP Incorporated here, 31.47 share. What's wrong with me, man? A little less than $1,000. <laughs> Gosh, I got some issues, man. And one of them is how bad I need you. $119 up. <coughs> oh, gosh, or 14%. It's a boring stock, incredibly boring. Hercules Capital, that uh, cat has jumped up in my lap. Probably running from the mean dogs that are barking. You might have heard them. Um, Hercules Capital, 119 shares here. About a $2,000 position. Pretty good. We're up. Uh, pays a nice, nice dividend, by the way. We're talking 10 plus percent, 11 percent, really, when you include the special. 20% uh, up. Also, in terms of share price, $378. This one just fared very well. Um, <clears throat> out of a business development company doing great things. IBM, uh, 7.43 shares. This one's also been actually really good for us. Um, we're up about 51% or $480. Pretty good. Intel, this one's been a stinker. There's no doubt about it. We're down about $100 or 11%. Only 16 shares there. Nothing crazy. Now, iRobot, this one's an absolute piece of peace. Um, 30 shares of iRobot. We freaking, uh, <coughs> we had these shares ready. For Amazon to buy this freaking stock and then it's just oh then the EU can honestly the EU can suck on these nuts more than more more days than there are in the year more than 365 we're talking uh we'll include a leap year man like this is nonsense screw these freaking losers I mean what's going on and it is a leap year this year so how about that so EU let's get to sucking um Nah, they all got some snaggly teeth over there, man. You wouldn't like that too much. Something's wrong with me today, folks. I'm just going to tell you that right now, and I don't know what it is. But we're down 75%. Wow, wheeze. This was a $1,000 position. It's a $200 position now. I'm going to punch this company in the face. I'm going to punch you in the face. I'm getting banned. <coughs> Iron Mountain, 62 shares here. Now, this one, I'm not punching anybody over this one, except for maybe... Punching myself in joy. It doesn't make any sense, but I'm excited about it. You want to know why? We're, ah, no, almost said something. I'm up. I'm bricked up about this position. $2,800 up here. Up 136%. That's what I'm talking about. I've had this one since the infancy of the portfolio. Happy to have it. Um, we get to another, another rock. Not talking about the one in my pants, folks. We're talking about Coca-Cola. Just because it doesn't move that much. Um, 23.63 shares, um, $123 up. 
yeah, I don't know what to say. I mean, that's that's just what I want to say. It's it's boring. It's Coca Cola, delicious bevies. Hope you like them. Uh, Coles. Um, this one's been a roller coaster to be on, folks. Uh, I still like where it's trading at. I re uh, I really do. Uh, I like it. Uh, bailed it out. Two thousand six. Uh, no, he didn't know it. Two thousand nine. Sorry. Ooh, -hoo. ooh, voice crack. Voice cracking. Uh, voices is Seattle cracking, baby. Um, 96.75 shares there. We're up just slightly 5%, $142. Uh, pays a fat divvy too, so hey, I'm excited. Um, <coughs> I really want to sell covered calls in this position here shortly. I was going to bring it up to 100 shares when it was cheap, but man, uh, the contract valuation is just not there. Um, it's just not, not, good, not good value on those contracts. With how much the stock moves, should have a lot more Vega baked in, but it just doesn't. So I don't mess with it. Lockheed Martin, just the 2.03 shares here. Very tiny, tiny position, just like me. Um, $11 down. I mean, it's flat, nothing crazy. Main Street Capital, 50.48 shares. Um, uh, $611 up uh, or 34%. See, this is the point of the video where the throat gets, a, you know, it gets a little dry. Much, you know, unlike yours, very, very moist in there with all this talk of the suck. And I know you got a little excited. The mouth is watering for you, I bet. Um, we got Meta Platforms. This one makes your mouth water too, I'll tell you that. 32 shares here. Wish we had more. Uh, massive position, the largest position we have. And why is that? Because the stock just doesn't stop going up. I told you it was my... Favorite stock of 2023. It's my favorite stock of 2024. Suck on it. Um, man, I'm, I'm, I got issues today. Someone stop me. Up 139%. Up 162% or $9,618 and 58%. Oh, whoa, sorry. Uh, one, 162% up, yeah. Microsoft, banger of a company. A bangers and mash, 11.45. Um... I mean, I'm look at the right click. What's wrong with me? We're up big on this one to 139% or 2806 dollars. Big. <coughs> wow. Micron technology. Should have brought a bevy up here, man. Little Gator Light, little body armor, liquid IV. 10.1 shares of Micron. Eh, it's been pretty good, man. We're up 159%. Pretty good uh, off a small position. Should have bought more. Yeah, tell me. Tell me I'm an idiot. Do it. Neo, we don't need to talk about this position anymore. It's a piece of trash, man. 25 shares. The stock's going to, to zero. Um, but we're still up 193%. So screw them. I hate them. Uh, NVIDIA, wow, what an absolute banger. Uh, six shares here. Excuse me. Massive fat share price. This is also one. This year they will be doing a split. I'm telling you right now, they're gonna announce it. Once this stock reaches a thousand, it's gonna reach a thousand. I'm just telling you right now, it's gonna reach probably a thousand one hundred uh, by the end of the year. Um, they're gonna do a split. Probably, in my opinion, it's probably just gonna be a four for one, but has room to be a five for one. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, we're up massive here, one thousand percent. Yeah, that's something's a little off there. There's no doubt. But anyways. Um, we're up $4,978. I'll worry about that later. Uh, but we're up massively on the position, okay? <clears throat> we're up massively. New York Community Bank, another piece of trash here. Piece of piece makes you want to punch somebody. Um, look, it's it's just not fair, man. We're down $569. Uh, you know, decent second number there's, uh, there's de Decent, that's for sure. Down 63%. You know, we'd rather be down 7% more if you know what I'm saying. Realty income after them, the monthly dividend company, 65.5 shares. Down on this one, it's been a piece of trash. This is one that's been really getting hit with the read industry going down. 6.5% uh, down or $246. We still get those divvies every month. We're happy to have them. Uh, Omega Healthcare REIT. <clears throat> this one, it really is just kind of, you know, not been falling. Dude, I need to stop this. 96.4 shares. Hasn't been falling as much as the other REITs. Uh, but we are, you know, up just a little bit, 8%. We were up bigger for sure back in the day, but that's okay. Uh, Penn Entertainment, another piece of trash. Um, someone's got to get this thing under control. 30 shares here. Uh, <clears throat> man, how, how do you not win in the betting industry? I don't get it. 48% down or $509. Uh, 
I think just a piece of piece. PepsiCo, 6.22 shares, $1,000 position. Very boring again, only up 6.94%. Get rid of that four, we'd be talking, just make it 6.9%. Uh, plug Power following them. 40 shares here, Plug Power, piece of trash yet again, down 61%. We got a couple bumps here. Thankfully, it's our tiny positions that we are kind of doing as speculative plays, but hey. Prospect Capital, not one of our speculative plays. The stock's been getting hammered uh, with most of the other business development companies and REITs. Uh, 342 shares pays six cents a share every freaking month, man. I'm excited about it. They can cover it based off the earnings. So I'll be holding this one for, for a while, man. Keep getting these additional shares, which means bigger dividends every month. Down 17%, though, or $393. Not great. I uh, think this returns to above $6 here within the next year. Um so, hey, good time to acquire shares, I suppose, if you want to hold it in the long to medium term. Qualcomm, uh, 9.2 shares here. Uh, it's been a uh, just a great one for me, too, up uh, 52% here, um, you know, $540. It's been a good one. Rhythm Capital, another REIT here, has not been performing. Um, you know, I was up a lot more, but it, it it's recovered, really, as of late. This thing was sub $10 here for a little while there last month. But hey, we've seen some recovery. We're up uh, 18.9%, $354. We've got 199 shares. It's a pretty big position here, about $2,200. I was up a lot more. Uh, this thing belongs in the $15 range. Um, wow, what? I mean, why Why does the nose do this? Uh, anyways, pays a big, big dividend, and I love it. Um, Starbucks, 10.3. Another boring, boring position, man. Less than $1,000, uh, 16% up. $132, nothing crazy. Schwuck Schwab here, Charles Schwab, 17.35 shares. Um, <clears throat> up 28%, pretty decent actually, $281, but it's a small position. So Stitch Fix, piece of trash, once want, more, 110 shares here. Uh, we are down bad on this one, um, 65% or $554. Get rid of some of these stinkers, we're doing even better, man. What a shame. Snap Incorporated. Uh, 200 shares of Snap. You know we've had this one. It's been an absolute roller coaster. Every earnings they fall, you know, uh, a good 10, you know, 10 to 15 percent. Just how it is. Anyways, we are up 114 dollars or five percent. We've been selling covered calls to take advantage of that volatility, uh, and we're happy to continue to do that. We really will continue to do that. Um, Stanley Black and Negger 12.54. Talk about boring. This one really is. But we are up 9.2 percent or 103 dollars. Target 12.5456. Very, very close here uh, to Stanley Black and Decker in terms of share count, but position valuation is about double, folks. Uh, we're talking about a nice, nice gain here 49.76%. We were down on this position not even a year ago, uh, which is crazy how undervalued the stock was. $739 up. Tapestry Incorporated at 31.89. This one's been an absolute just great position for us 111% up. Um, or $799. It's been great off of a pretty small position. Speaking of a tiny position here, um, Tesla, just the 2.3 shares, and we're down about 15 bucks here, 3%. Uh, nothing really to report there. Kind of more of a tracking position, but again, I think over the long term, it's, it's actually going to be decent value here uh, if you're buying at these levels. Texas Roadhouse, uh, what a beautiful, beautiful company. Uh, love the experience every time. Can't get enough of it. Need to go more. Uh, 10.1 shares there. We're up pretty nicely. 41% or $462. It's a beaut, man. Vici Properties, 54 shares of Vici. Uh, pretty well break even, honestly. 1% up or 20 bucks. Nothing really noteworthy. Walmart has undergone their stock split. We've got 194 shares now. Uh, still a big, big position at $11,000. Um, <clears throat> and we're still up big time too, uh, 67% or $4,720. <clears throat> now for the uh, ETFs, that, that's really our stocks there. ETFs make up about you know 30K of this portfolio. We just kind of go in and, and say the name and the share count. Nothing really worthy about talking about gain or loss because you're, you're not going to see a ton difference here. I mean, it's nothing really significant on any of these. Um, so first off, we have this Wisdom Tree Small Cap Dividend ETF, DES, 21.6 shares here. IVV, the iShares Core S&P 500 ETF, 2.05 shares. Actually, decent-sized position because of their massive fat shares. Um, 
really going to be the same price as the S&P when you think about it. Um, JEPI, JP Morgan, equity premium income read 4 point, oh no, I have to say this, 49.9999 shares. What the freak? What a number. I love to see it. I might want to screenshot that. I might bust out the snipping tool. I'm going to snip you, baby. Um, <clears throat> JEPQ. That's not something you should say to a, a significant other. I'll just tell you that right now. Especially a woman saying it to a man. No, 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 no. You better run. You better run while you can. Uh, 32.16 shares of JEPQ. Uh, the NASDAQ, JP Morgan, NASDAQ. Uh, equity premium income REIT. Uh, ETF, sorry, he, KBWD and KBWI, you know, fun to have these guys, KBWD at 116, these are my only down ETF, so I guess it's not fun to have these guys, um, because the REIT industry been getting hammered, and so is the financials, so the, the REIT one, 85.1 shares were down, biggest ETF were down on, man, things stinks, Me, the M, Vanguard Mega Cap ETF MGC, 7.12, um, Shares QYLD monthly dividend fund here sixty eight point zero four. I uh, stick for around for the dividend video. You'll enjoy it. You'll see what this thing's earning me. SCHD uh, forty seven point seven one. Our largest ETF. Um, like what they're doing there. SCHX. Um, happy to have this one too. The the Schwab U S large cap ETF been performing very well here. Thirty eight point two shares. SPHD performing okay 50.29 there spyd not been performing well 31.06 the s&p 500 uh, high dividend etf from spider then spyg the spider s&p 500 growth etf has been performing well 21.3 shares uh vbr the vanguard small cap value etf that one i bought in a good time the russell 2000 is gonna be doing good stuff this year i told you it would at the start of the video Six shares here, that one already doing good stuff when it comes to the share price. We're up already. Oh, wow. VFH, the Vanguard Financials ETF, 12.4 uh, shares there. Actually up, doing pretty good there. Bought at a low point, though. VOIM, the Vanguard High Dividend ETF, um, nearly our second largest position. That's our ETF, I should say, 17.7. Uh, and then XYLD to end it off, another monthly dividend payer, 27.9 shares there. Uh, for that one, we got a couple bond or a couple CDs here. The Charles Schwab 5.3, uh, which is going to mat mature on 8.8.24. And then the Truist Bank 5.3% maturing on 6.7.24. Still a few months out for those, obviously. 5.3% apparently stinks compared to what I could have done in the market with this 4000 bucks. But hey, I'm fine with it. Um, kind of guaranteeing a return there is is okay with me um and if rates fall these obviously i could sell ahead of time and actually gain some money in terms of the value of those cds uh kind of the way schwab lays it out which is cool and then 800 dollars in the um swvxx just the money market fund nothing crazy there so that's our portfolio in all its glory folks i hope you're excited about this uh no easter pun uh, necessary there. It was not meant that way. Uh, I'm going to blow my nose and we're going to do the dividend video and you're going to freaking enjoy it. And if you don't, we might have a couple issues. I'll just tell you, be afraid. Ah!